These are the back streets of Hamburg's red light district. A rough place to grow up. My alternative service was youth work. My job was to get these kids off the streets and into boats where they felt like pirates. And to didn't notice they were learning social behavior. This film, by the way, was shot by Julia Reichert, who later won an Academy Award for her own films. Verehrte Hörer, die letzten 25 Minuten unseres heutigen Programms werden von einem Gast aus den USA bestritten. Er heißt Jay Tuck und war fünf Jahre lang Disc-Jockey bei einem Funkhaus in Ohio. Ah, das ist der richtige Knopf. Es geht gut los, ja. NDR Radio actually named the show after me. Oh yeah, guten Abend. My name is Jay Tuck und Sie hören meine erste Sendung und hoffentlich nicht meine letzte. It was on air for three years. Wenn Sie With eine my own fan Sendung club wollen, and free beer Platz. at the legendary music club Uncle Pearl. Wenn Sie jedoch nur rumflippen wollen, sind Sie hier ganz richtig. Yeah. <laughs> Flip, 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 flip. The radio exposure brought well-paying announcing jobs. Der Mythos des amerikanischen Westens. Marlboro Classics. Resistance is futile. Breakthrough. Who the fuck is Yvonne? It's a bad, bad dream. Bees coming soon. During my youth work, I met a struggling, long-haired rock band called Nectar. We shot this little film together in Hamburg. They dreamed of being rock stars, and I dreamed of a career as a television producer. Both dreams came true. Nectar sold gold records and toured the world. I worked full-time at television. Later, we filmed this together. I got my start at television because I was kind of an oddball. Television people like oddballs, so they gave me a chance as a freelancer. I covered the celebrities. Hey there, people, I'm Bobby Brown. They say I'm the cutest boy in town. I fell into a burning ring of fire, went down, 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 and the flames went higher. Suzanne. Takes you down to her place near the river. You can hear the boats go by. You can spend the night beside her. Let me take you by the hand and lead you through the streets of London. Show you something to make you change your mind. I Angel, when will those 
those clouds all disappear. Seit 20 Jahren Dixieland Ein Groupie haben die auch Die heißt Rosa oder so Und die tanzt auf dem Tisch Wie ein Go, Go, Go Und Aber sonst ist heute wieder alles klar Auf der Andrea Doria Andrea Doria I knew the press conference would be a screaming match, so I made my own plans. I told the production manager at NDR I would need a chauffeur de limousine and three assistants with red caps. He wondered why, but I got my limo. When Warhol arrived at the Hamburg airport, we were ready. His entourage was greeted at every turn by a smiling young man with a red cap. This way to the limousine, Mr. Warhol. This way. Obediently, he followed instructions, stepping into the limo where I waited. What do you think of the values uh, and of the mechanisms and of the norms that have made your success possible? Do you accept these values? What do you mean? I mean the values and norms and uh, mechanisms that make it possible to uh, Turn that much money with one, with one painting. Well, it's, uh, gee, I, I, I do not. I mean, a lot of people. I'll put it another way. A lot of people who don't know much about art are very outraged that someone can earn that much money that quickly. Uh, How do you react to that? Oh, but it's not that easy. I mean, we. I have an office of about 35 people working. I mean, you know, we have a magazine and we have a video cable TV show and. And um, actually, I don't know. I don't know. You know, with the American government, you really don't make any money at all. Well, they're German soup cans too. They're called yeah. uh, Unox. Oh, really? Oh, we'll do the top two. Yeah, that's wonderful. Of course, I had him sign a few soup cans. The production manager later said the soup cans belonged to the television station, the value created while on NDR assignment. But I had supermarket receipts. My ownership went unchallenged. I did a lot of silly stuff back then. Spoofs and satires, rock stars and art shows. A lot of it didn't match. We were on the schlimmste vorbereitet. Doch die Warnungen der Norddeutschen... It was my own personal search for a professional identity. I reported for Freitags Magazine at Hamburg Journal on local television. As my German improved, my reporting moved from local to network television. The subjects began to get serious.